Ike went out today or yesterday and picked up a solid axle. And when I say solid, I mean solid. She'd be heavy. So we also have some bearings in here that we also just picked up. We, we don't even know if those, these fit. We don't even shelf. know if they fit yet. So we are really taking you along for the ride here, folks. So these are our bearings and Ike is gonna figure out right now if it fits. Are you serious? I guess it's that tight. So we're gonna have to get a hammer on it or something. Yeah. Uh, I got a little grease fitting on them too, so that's gonna be real fancy. Sexy. Yep. Ooh. This is gonna bolt to the frame somewhere. We're not even sure yet. Um, and then the axle is going to go straight through that hole. Then we're gonna have some kind of braking system on it too, as well as a uh, a sprocket, like for the gear drive. Also, sorry everybody for the grainy video quality. Uh, my camera is pretty basic uh, as far as DSLRs go, and uh, it doesn't do very well in low light. Hopefully I'll get a new lens pretty soon because, um, yeah, whenever we both get off work and get around to doing this stuff, it is often pretty dark. So I should invest in a low light lens. Anyway, sandpaper. Uh, what grit? Uh, surprise me. Okay, this purple looks nice. What do you think, Lance? 40 weight? 50 weight? Where are our engines, Ted? In the warehouse! In the warehouse, man! Did you get that Fast and Furious reference or no? Good. I like to sprinkle those in occasionally. Oh wow, that's looking good. Now that Ike has sanded down the shaft, it should fit a little bit better on there. Oh wow. That's actually like a surprising amount. Do that. Did you sand it too much? Do we have to let it rust? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. Because this one's going to fit a little bit tighter. Good. Oh. Dude, sweet. Dude, this is awesome. See? Uh, this is going to make it look like legit. Yeah. See, this this collar is not fitting. Yeah. But when you turn it, it should just drop right into place. Okay. There we go. it's offset there we go. or whatever. It's offset. Good. So when you lock this down, this bearing, if it does any turning on the shaft, it's going to lock itself to this. Slap the other one on there. Oh my goodness. Man. What? This is uh, pretty freaking cool. This is. I like this. So you think that thing's going to withstand uh, 80 miles an hour like we're going to make it go? Why don't you turn on it and see what you think? Ooh, she's smooth. Are you going to do a little bit of a mock-up? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see how she, uh... Where's she going? We'll see it. Um... Ooh. We can either go back there, which I think is not gonna look very pretty. Right. Because the wheels are gonna be behind the tub. Clearly be easier, I would think. That would be easier. Would it be sexier? Yeah, I feel like this thing has gotten so much rustier since we started. It has. The tub, anyway. It has. I mean, you guys remember that used to be pretty clean looking. Like these, these rods used to be like, like this. Rod. Yeah, like. <laughs> I think we should ask the the viewers though. Or we can go with a rake. Right. And that would, uh, I guess, that could fix all of our like positioning issues, right? So we have some wheels here to mock up. Uh, I guess uh, one of the potential heights with. Good. Yeah, that's, ooh. Uh, uh, what do you think, man? I am very on the fence about it. Because. I, I know you wanted it slammed. Yeah, it's, because it's, it's not really rat rod looking like this. We can scoot those wheels in more though, right? Uh, well, we can. But, uh, we need room for the sprocket and then brakes. I think the more scootered in her, the better it's going to look. And then just the sprocket and brakes will fill up those kind of awkward looking gaps. Those front wheels aren't going to last. These have plastic bushings, no actual bearings. So that's why we say they're not going to last very long. Huh. Yeah, what do you think of the, uh, what, do you, what do you think of it? How does it feel? It actually feels pretty good. Really? Yeah, here. It looks pretty sweet. Totally gonna like try to dump us off. 
Man, that's pretty sweet. Isn't it? Dump us off like because it's so high. YouTubers, do you like this? Option or, number one. yes, this is option number one. Or, I put a block under it, which is putting this at about the right, about height. the same height right. as where it would be in the other position. So this is option number two, everybody. What do you think of this look? Yeah, I think this is much better as far as height, to be honest. It doesn't feel like I'm about to tip over. But still let us know, everybody, uh, what option you like better. I think the first option would look cool if this was just some kind of weird drag go-kart slash wagon slash rat rod build. But uh, since we're not really going for drag and we're going for riding around the yard and having fun and we don't want to tip over and die we're probably going to go with this lower rear end setup yeah. well the wider the rear end is the less likely you're going to tip it i'm almost wanting to go real sexy and make it a uh, adjustable adjustable uh width. i guess width yep. okay uh, make it where we can tuck it in or poke her out so it's pretty late, it's like 10 o'clock. That's late for us anyway. We have to get up early and go to work. Um, so we're not actually gonna do any work on this tonight, but we'll probably upload it because you guys want to see more frequent uploads. So we got it mocked up pretty good. I think this is a really good look. But right now all we're doing is uh, figuring out what we need to order. Uh, we're gonna need some kind of hub for the sprocket we're going to need hubs for the wheels to bolt on to. And then we also need something for a brake, but we might figure that out later on. Because who needs brakes? It may just be me, but like, when I think Rat Rod, I think that episode of Roadkill when they did the uh, Rat Rod versus Aventador. You want the wheels a little bit further forward, probably about like right there. That would be about perfect, I think. I think the closer in, the better. Just, I think it looks kind of funny when they're all... Uh, Poking. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, It reminds me of those bro trucks that are like lifted way up and have like these really tiny wheels that are like poking way far out from the cab. Yeah. No offense to any viewers who has a bro truck like that. I'm sure they're cool, but uh, just not my kind of thing. All right, so we're going to have to cut the tub. So we're going to be cutting the tub. Is that okay with you? You look like you just watched it puppy die or something. I'm trying to do as little cutting to the tub as possible, but we've already cut it up pretty good, so I guess a couple more cuts ain't gonna hurt none at all. Yeah. We can't really get perfect fitment uh, without really cutting up the tub. Here is one option, and here is the other option, and I think, I don't know, Ike, do you, do you agree that um, the wheel would be too far up in the tub right here? So we're gonna have to put it somewhere in between, which is gonna require quite a bit of slicing. We'll just uh, get the grinder and uh, slice a hole right here for the for this thing to start passing through. Yeah, I think that would be the, the best way to do that. Anytime we hit a bump, it's gonna dig into the chain and then we could tear our butts off. I mean, I have smaller sprockets laying around. Why will it be fine? Well, I was hoping to put some kids on it at first. So you're gonna put a kid on this thing. I'm gonna put a guard over that. Yeah, we're gonna need some kind of guard on that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a guard on it. For sure, or else we're gonna have some angry parents. Plus, I'm gonna uh, mount uh, some uh, wheels that will, instead of the chain going this way, it's actually gonna go down to a wheel here. And okay. And go along the frame. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I'm gonna have a guard over this. But I think having a wheel here to keep the chain nice and low, I think that's going to clean it up too, the, the look of it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, what's next? We have to get our hubs for the sprocket and the wheels. We need to figure out a brake. And then uh, I guess we need to go buy another Predator. It's too late to do any cutting. Then I guess tomorrow will be cutting cutting the tub for the axle yep so uh he's crying about his tub i'm sorry man heartbreaking is it really 
kind of is. I hate cutting stuff up. Really? Yeah. Even if you could buy another one for 20 bucks. Um, when was the last time you saw one of these metal radio flyer wagons for sale? So this has been a quick update here for the Rat Rod Wagon. Uh, we're going to call it update 3.1. How about that? 3.1. Yeah, and then the next update will be 3.2. It won't necessarily go all the way to 3.8, 3.9, and then 4. Because, I mean, we can't call this part 4 because we don't have the axle done. That's what I thought, you know, part 4 would be. Just an update. Yeah, it's just an update. Update, uh, part, mock -up. part 3? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's another part. It's another addition to the saga that is this rat rod wagon. So, we're just filling you in, uh showing you what we're working on. Even though we didn't accomplish much in this video, we found out that the parts we bought fit and we have a good positioning of where we want the axle to sit. So the only thing I see that we need to get is some bolts. Actually, a couple of them have made comments about- <laughs> How they hate uh, the steering wheel. <laughs> throttle. It's not a wheel, but- Oh. Throttle yeah. and brake on the yeah. wheel, which I kind of like. Exactly. Yeah, that would actually eliminate the whole pretzel that is that. I mean, throttle. Yeah. And and the brake or or same. Yeah, like thing. a maybe like a bike brake kind a of thing. A bicycle. That's what brake. I was thinking. Yes. You know, we could do something else, but I kind of like that. That but would that'll, actually be that'll really That'll help cool. out a lot on yeah. the pedals. For sure. Yeah, I think I like that. Oh, yeah. This thing looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Man, yeah. I'm liking it. Beep. So yeah, we just have to get some bolts and bolt it on down. And uh, we're gonna have to go to Harbor Freight soon, get another Predator. Maybe if we ask nicely uh, and explain to them that we already support them. Yep. Maybe they might give us one. Any maybe. of you viewers work for Harbor Freight? Please. Put in a good word for us. <laughs> Please. Yeah, thanks for watching this, uh, this Rat Rod Wagon update 3.1, 3.5. Somewhere in between parts three and four because the whole axle isn't on it yet, but we are on the way, even though we didn't technically do any grinding or Amen. welding or bolting. Tomorrow, we're gonna be grinding and bolting. Yeah, which is gonna be a separate video. Yeah, so. so. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Check Cars and Cameras out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews for more frequent uh, updates. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, thank you, 51,000 subscribers, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Oh, isn't that cool?